uh, tips and tricks video we will be showing you how to uh, create an emulator emulators in your device basically your laptop which is either mac or windows so we have two kinds of emulators one of them would be ios and the second one would be the android one so for that you will be there would be a few prerequisites you have to see uh, one of them would be for the Antoine emulator you must have android studio set up and for the ios emulator you must have a mac first and then you must have an xcode okay so these are the prerequisites so starting with let's create an emulator for our uh, android so i will just first open the android studio we don't need this thing we'll just open an android studio once it's open let it open it will take few seconds and then you have to go uh, any project you want so I will just open my normal project once your Android studio is open yes it will take you some time I'll just improve the problem okay so once you like unlock you go to the project repository then you will have an option of a device and within the Android icon which is a device manager open the device manager and here you can see a small plus button which you can use to add it so now it's my time to add a device so there are so many categories so many times so you can either create a tablet Wear OS, desktop tv automotive legacy legacy is like old devices you can see it's very old devices automotives are like uh, t uh, car screens tv are the our tvs 4k 108k 70k Desktop, you can create it for desktops, medium, large, VROS. It is also a good one to create an emulator for our watches, basically. So, this are watch, round one, rectangular one, large rounds, then tablet, and then finally, we have a phone. So, this is our phone one. So, mainly, we are going to use our phone emulator. So, just go the phone emulator, uh, select any one of them. So there's this resizable which is you can resize according to your needs basically uh, this is like just like a chrome if you want right uh, so this is 7.6 folded so if you want to see how your device would look uh, how your app is going to look in your folding uh, foldable devices it is for them then we have pixels we have pixel excel pixel to excel so many of those devices so basically creating any one of devices can work so let's now let's create a simple pixel let's create a something very good let's create a VROS right so VROS small round small round then we will just go and that's uh, for this we have to download the VROS too so let's hope we don't have to download it yeah this is my VROS name uh, I can change my name to round webinant and we are good to go yeah it is a device resolution and we hit the next button and just before that we go yeah we have selected this one maybe go to the next now it's time to select the uh, system image so this is basically the what android version you want to use right now i'm using the option down kick because it's for android 14 uh, if you're using like any other srqp oreo nugget lollipop marshmallow you can use any version you want okay over here Right now I'm going with this because I already have downloaded over here. Right, we are OS, Webinant API 34, and finally finish. As you can see, we have our VR OS small virtual device, and to run it, you just simply press a run and device will start. Sorry, I pressed it again. You can see my device is going to be run over here okay and to use it in the vs code basically because that's what we mainly use it go to this and you can see our vr os is already here so if i launch the vs simulator if i just press stop for this one and after a few seconds it's gonna be open basically So this is the steps so you will get your emulator over here you can go to any vs code you have and find your vs emulator over here 
So as you can see, I have already opened it. Let me find him. Yeah. As you can see, it is opening over here. Either I can just stop it. Yes. And I'll cut it down. So you can just cut out the Android Studio now. We don't need that. You go to the end and select Vero Astronomy Emulator. And you have your emulator over here. Right? And it was messy because it's like opening it the first time. But it's gonna work, don't worry about it, it's starting right now. And if you don't want to do directly, you can use the Android Studio one, right? So that's also the case. Second thing, it's time to create an emulator for the as you can see it's working now. So you have your emulator, you can create your Flutter app over here. So you have all the things you need in this. So this is my emulator, let it start once, till then I will open my Xcode to build the iOS one. Let's go and open it. And Xcode is pretty, it's pretty much straightforward. Again, you have to open your folder. I open a folder. Um, uh, wait for a second, let it sync everything. Just go to this drop down, go to the manager run destinations. This is my simulator that I already downloaded. You can manage run session simulators, go to simulator sections on the top corner. And now just lagging a bit because you're using address window. Then just go below, add. Now it's your time to select the simulator. You can either select name, I can name it and then I have to select the device so it contains everything and again I can create the watch I can create for what TVs I can create for apps iPads iPhones XR so if I go with the iPhone series 41 uh, uh, now so in OS version I don't have them so I have to download the OS version so it requires 3 GB I am not in doing it right now let the change the emulator to something which we have already. I would worry 17 by 2. It is OS 3 OS version I already have. And pair Apple the watch. You can pair it. So it is also a good thing. You can pair your Apple Watch with and device to test it out, right? So you have two simulator uh, paired with each other's to like test it out your app, which is like if your app contains any feature which is connected with those. Uh, your Apple app and your main app, so you can do that. So you can go previous, you can just create. So once you create that, it will give you iPhone 14 also. And then you can just always just come here to build the device, and it will work perfectly. Right.